Greetings friends, I'm Mike the Fit Farmer and years ago I moved my family out of the city to homestead in the country. Join me as I share our adventures of growing stuff, striving to live a healthy lifestyle and so much more. Oh, and we live in a yurt. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications and share this video with a friend. Come on now. Get off the box. So I can move it. Let me get off there. Come on. Come on. Right now we have three cats on the farmstead. And actually this cat right here is one that you'll just be petting it, petting it, and just liking it, liking it. And all of a sudden he just attacks you. <laughs> yeah, you do that from time to time. He is actually a cat that just showed up here on the property. He was so skinny. That's, and that's why we named him Slim. Because when we found him, he was barely alive and super, super thin. Since then, he's fattened up. And he just loves being around here, roaming around the farmstead. Come on. I don't blame you. Come on down. In here. I don't know what was digging right there. Don't need that because that's where we're getting ready to put our tomatoes. Are you on there again? You like this box or something? What are you doing, man? Get off my box! Get off my box! Come on, get off my boxes. What are you doing, man? I don't know what's so special about these boxes. It keeps hopping on there. After moving some of those boxes that were recently delivered, the rest of the morning went on pretty much like a normal day at this time of year. The boys and I did our morning chores. Josiah filled up buckets with feed for our animals. Micah gathered up the duck eggs because they lay in the morning while I tended to my babies. And then we went around filling up all of the animals feed for the day. And the ladies made us breakfast. And we ate it, of course. And after breakfast, the boys and I went outside to work on a few more things. But as the day went on, it began to get more and more unique. A little later that morning, I got a call from the post office saying that my chicks were there. But the only thing was, I wasn't expecting any chicks. What could it be? Chicks for me? For somebody else? They're mistaken? What, what, what could it be? First time doing this. We picked up chicks from the post office before, but I haven't picked up eggs. Oh yeah! Fertilized eggs from Sydney and Tory at the Naked Gardeners. They raise American breast chickens as meat birds and they say the breast on these birds is just as tender and juicy as thigh meat on other chickens. So I was like, mm, that sounds good to me because the thighs, well, they're typically my favorite part of eating chicken. Well, I'm not really sure what I had in mind as far as how these eggs would arrive, but I didn't anticipate getting a call from the post office saying that your chicks are here like they normally do when we get live chicks. But anyways, took them home. All right. Take the little eggs. 
you have to get strapped in and then we're gonna entrust in you to hold on to the eggs. Don't break them. Take very good care of them. Mm -hmm. Alright, there you go. Gentle. Don't let them explode on you. done this before so I'm not sure exactly what to expect in here instructions here all right so these are definitely really handy instructions so it says here to allow the eggs to rest for 12 to 24 hours with the pointy side down which they came in so, I'm going to rest here, as it says in room temperature. See, hopefully, drop these. We'll just take them out. Fall in with it. Okay, so we'll just set those there. Okay. And the rest of our eggs here. And I'm going to pull them out. Alrighty, come on. Don't lose any. data on here that's also really handy and to add to the uniqueness of today today is also the day of the eclipse and it's also the last day of the Hebrew sacred calendar year so this eclipse lines up with the new moon which marks the beginning of the first month of the Hebrew sacred calendar year. And when I learned that the new year really should be at this time of year and not in the dead of winter when like nothing is happening, it makes so much more sense for the new year to begin in spring during the time that plants are coming alive and renewing and animals are being born and coming out of hibernation and all that other stuff just makes so much more sense to me so it's like yes excited about the eclipse and excited about the new year but before the eclipse I had another surprise right now it looks like it normally does at this time of day sun's out it's bright I don't know maybe it's a little extra brighter I'm not sure oh, but it does feel pretty good outside yeah what in the world is that? We were airing out our pantry over here. It also has some plants growing in. It looks like the lights are off over here. Let's see here. I wonder if it looks like the power's off. Now the meter is definitely not doing anything right now. Well, I'm not sure which one of the conspiracy theories this one applies to, but clips today. No power right now. Interesting. Well, with no power, it's only going to get warmer on the inside. Now, this would be a good time to go ahead and use some backup power. I think we're getting closer. So power's out in the house. Power's out of the shop. <laughs> uh, just like I said, I don't know what part of this fulfills the conspiracy related to power outage and the eclipse, but uh, we were dealing with some power outages. Oh well, so got one power station connected, but we did recently get another one. You hear of any crazy theories? For today there's all kinds of theories which ones have you heard what are some crazy ones you've heard i don't i don't even pay attention to it <laughs> because 
Like that's just living in fear and what has fear ever done for you except cause you to stress out and not be good for you. Yeah. If you've heard any crazy ones, let us know in the comments below. So the boxes earlier are for my high tone, but these are something different. That's great, dude. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Uh, probably oh, I got a warranty. I'm gonna keep that. with it. I don't have a choice. It came packaged good enough, didn't it? Right here. I usually the guys first to when they put something together. I'm not gonna look directly up in the sun because you're not supposed to when this happening. But I think I can see slightly different look around me. Just the lighting looks slightly different. What time is it? Um, I think it's probably about 2.30 right now. And what time was it supposed to start? I know like the peak was somewhere like around 3.12 or something like that. It was supposed to start at 2. Okay. Um, Alrighty, so I guess it technically is starting. That's why it's starting to look a little different there, Mike. So I got the plug connected and that was really easy. They just snap into place like that. Okay. So if you'll bring the power station over here and set it in the shade. Okay, solar car input. And since we don't have power, this works great, but it also has a place where you can plug it up at an outlet too and charge it. Oh, and you can already hear it charging. Dad, the power just came back on. Oh, there we go. Alrighty, and I think the eclipse has started right now. Come hey, here. man. Is this your first eclipse? <laughs> 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 That's like a sinister laugh. <laughs> eclipse glasses right here and one way you can tell that they're real ones is that you can't see anything if you're just looking around unless you look at the sun. Oh well, it means it's like just totally dark if you try to look through yeah. them. So like if you put them on like this and you can't see anything. No. Okay, okay. <laughs> so those are the real McCoy there, right? Yes. <laughs> well, why don't you take them over there and show everybody? Oh wow. Yeah, I guess you can see the sun right through our dome today. <laughs> So we could basically just watch the eclipse from the comfy of our own couch. 
<laughs> May I have one of those? Here you go. All right, so let's see. Let's put these on. On these things. You got a bit of it. Something like that. All right, all right. Put that on there. Oh, we can see it. I can see it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright, all right, you guys look, put your glasses on. Everybody got some? Alright, yep, remember don't look up, don't take them off while you're looking at it. Got that? I'll remember to take it. Or else you will get blind! Remember to take it off when you're done looking at it. Yeah, so you, you, yeah, you don't have to, yeah, <laughs> don't walk around <laughs> blind. <laughs> Alright. Yep. Ah, oh, I can see the moon! You can see it? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it. It looks like the the sun is like a moon. <laughs> oh, you really are relaxing. You can you see it laying down right there? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh Lord, I can do that. Why don't you give it a look? Okay, let's see here. Glasses on. Sun acquired. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's like a third of the way right now. Pretty neat. And as we were in the middle of the eclipse happening, I got to thinking, huh, I probably should go outside and check on the animals and look around at the same time. I wonder if the animals are gonna be making any weird noises or acting weird or anything. So uh, let's go check them out. It's even starting to get darker in here. I wonder what it looks like outside. The boys are outside. Well, can you guys see it even clearer out here? Yeah. Just sit back and relax on the grass. Yeah, just make sure you keep your eyes covered there, Josiah. And I'm not sure if the camera could pick it up, but the lighting definitely is a little bit different. It's like there's some kind of lens or uh, LUT in, LUT overlay <laughs> on everywhere. Let me take a little peek out here. Sure there's a lot of people all over the place watching this eclipse right now but <laughs> animals are still doing their thing chickens are still clucking <laughs> roosters are still growing <laughs> bees still buzzing some of my fruit trees are either budding or blossoming look at these these look beautiful Look at them, checking out the eclipse too. Looking towards the sun. Don't look at the sun. Don't look at the sun. <laughs> I've actually never thought about that before. Us human beings, we gotta remind each other not to look at the sun. What about the animals? What if they just stare at the sun? Do they go blind too? I don't even know. Hey, don't you look at the sun either. How we doing? How we doing? Hey. Hey, you all right? Actually, it's about her milking time. Dad, look how dark it is. I know, I've been out here checking it out. It looks weird. It's I like know. there's some kind of overlay over the everything. I know. <laughs> it's kind of beautiful, but also kind of surreal. It just feels odd. What do you think? How does it feel to you? Odd. Odd. Where are you guys? I know by the time you watch this video, the eclipse will already be done and over with, but where did you guys watch the eclipse from? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know how dark did it get at your place. We're almost at the peak. I think we got a few more minutes, right, Desai? Um, about, about halfway. About halfway? And I was looking online, it looks like for our area, it's only going to be about 75%. I know there's some areas that are going to be 100%, and some areas are going to be less, but it's like ours is just going to be 75% or so. But still, we can see it. Things are happening. Ah. 
Hey, it's the darker in here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, looks like it's gotten cooler in here too. Darker and cooler. So it's about halfway in? Uh, yeah, I think it's a little over halfway. Yep. Maybe two thirds. And not only is it cooler inside, it's definitely colder outside too. It's like everywhere you go now, it's like being in the shade. <laughs> well, we are in the shade. We're in the shade of the moon. <laughs> I guess you're right. This is pretty interesting. <laughs> pretty interesting. Right now, we are at the peak of the eclipse for here in our area. Man. So, and this is what it looks like to be 75% eclipse, 75, 80%. It's definitely darker in the woods. This is crazy. It's kind of like everywhere I go, it looks like I have sunglasses on, but I'm not wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Looking back, during the eclipse, things were pretty calm. There was like no wind, and it was a really, really <laughs> unique experience. A unique day and all. And to close out this day of uniqueness and to celebrate the new moon and then the start of the new sacred calendar year, I was like, let's just bust out the shofar. I haven't blown on it in a while, so it's probably a little rusty. Not the best, not too bad for not having done this quite some time. <laughs> You're like, what was that? Uh, what did you think? Uh, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Is that me? <laughs> and then to completely finish it all up. Family came together for some time of prayer, hymn singing, and family reading time. So this day turned out to be far from a typical day. How did your day go during the eclipse? Let me know in the comments below. See you next time.